Welcome to this video where we'll be looking at research philosophies and selecting a research philosophy. The objectives for this session are to understand some of the different research philosophies that exist and to be able to pick a suitable research philosophy which underpins your own research. When it comes to research philosophies, you'll find there are lots of different research philosophies in the literature. We will be considering the three main research philosophies, and these are positivism, interpretivism, and pragmatism. Now for your own proposed research, as part of this module and the assessment for this module, you'll need to put forward and justify an appropriate underpinning research philosophy. Therefore, it is important that you understand the difference between different research philosophies and also when they are suitable for different types of research. So to start with positivism. Positivism is a research philosophy that involves working with an observable social reality. The emphasis is upon highly structured methodology to facilitate replication and the end product can be law-like generalizations similar to those produced by the physical and natural scientists. Positivism holds that methods of the natural sciences are appropriate for social inquiry because human behaviour is governed by law-like regularities and that it is possible to carry out independent, objective and value-free social research. This differs from interpretivism. Interpretivism is a research philosophy that requires the researcher to understand the subjective reality and meaning of participants. Interpretivism claims that natural science methods are not appropriate for social investigation because the social world is not governed by regularities that hold law-like properties. So we can see if we have a spectrum or a continuum, positivism and interpretivism are at the different ends of this continuum. Preferred research philosophy we will be looking at is pragmatism. And it's the pragmatist view that it's perfectly possible to work with variations in your epistemology, ontology and axiology. So now we have a quick comparison table. Now if we remember back to the last video, ontology is what is reality. And epistemology is what constitutes acceptable knowledge. And then the final row we have in this table is looking at what data collection techniques are most often used in each of these three philosophies. So to start with positivism, it assumes about the nature of reality that there is a single truth. And as a researcher, it is our job to find out that single truth that exists. And it believes reality is external from us. When it comes to epistemology and positivism, it is generalistic. It is looking for information that could be generalized. And it believes that good knowledge is objective. And therefore we're looking for cause and effects this impacts this, or there is a difference in this depending on this. And therefore it leads us to data collection techniques which are highly structured, large samples and normally quantitative. And this is because this highly structured large sample allows us to try and generalise about a single truth. This is what happened within this data set. And normally we want quantitative data because it is normally seen as more objective. It can only be interpreted in this one way. This number means this and therefore it's an objective interpretation. Now if we move on to looking at interpretivism, 
Interpretivism believes there are multiple truths out there. There's not a single truth, but there's different answers. And we need to find these different answers and these different truths within our research. And therefore, this information and this reality is internal to different people. And we need to go and investigate and be careful to pull out this information to find out these multiple truths. So the epistemology is particularist. Therefore, it is not generalizable, but it's particular to maybe a particular group of individuals or a context. And therefore, the findings that we're going to produce are very context specific and particular to the scenario or group we're looking at. We also believe that we want to try and find out subjective information and listen to people's views and search for complex interrelationships between the different views. Maybe people have different answers for different reasons and therefore we need to go and investigate the different reasons for their different answers and the different reasons for the subjectivity we are finding from talking to people. And to ensure this, the data collection techniques which are most commonly used are in-depth investigations to make sure we get this particularist information. And we often have to use small samples to make sure we can get the depth we need to get this information. And it, we're not seeking to generalise, we're seeking to find particular information in a particular sample. And this also leads us to qualitative data, whereby we're not seeking objective data, but we're seeking the subjective opinions and views and wider information so we can search for these complex interrelationships. Pragmatism believes there are potentially multiple truths, but we don't necessarily know. And therefore, when it comes to our epistemology, the belief is it needs to be explored from multiple angles. And this leads to the use of mixed methods often, where we will be using both quantitative and qualitative data to explore a particular phenomenon in more detail from different angles. And essentially, both positivism and interpretism might play a part in getting to our final answer. So we can see pragmatism as in the middle of the spectrum between positivism and interpretivism. When it comes to the fit between the philosophies we've discussed and research questions, positivism often fits with research questions which seek one truth. And therefore, the questions might be using hypotheses to find out if this is true or not true and uses objective data which tends to be quantitative data and they seek to generalize the conclusions across the sample they are using whereas interpretivism often fits research questions which seek multiple truths so these research questions might be a little bit more open because we don't know what the truths might be. So we're looking to explore these multiple truths. So the questions might be more exploratory and tend to use subjective data, which is often qualitative data to try and unearth these multiple truths. And the aim is to make specific non-generalizable conclusions. So these are very particular conclusions to this group and this sample. So we're not trying to generalize our conclusions across a rider population, but rather we want specific particular conclusions. Now pragmatism often fits research questions which seek to explore a phenomena from multiple angles. So use a mix of data, both quantitative and qualitative data. And often we find this kind of research is evaluative and seeks to evaluate a phenomena and therefore uses these two different angles of quantitative and qualitative data to try and get more information about the particular phenomena we're looking at to try and evaluate what is going on.